Egypt. FGM trial convicts Ari Eslin Fadel of manslaughter An Egyptian doctor has been convicted in a landmark retrial of carrying out female genital mutilation. FGM a lawyer and campaign group say. Ari Eslin Fadel was fined and jailed for two years with labor for manslaughter with a further three months for FGM. His clinic was also closed for a year. The doctor had denied carrying out FGM on 13-year-old Suhair al-Bataz. A spokeswoman for the international activist group Equality now called the decision a monumental victory. Suhair al-Bataz, who lived in small farming community on the outskirts of the Nile Delta city of Mansur, died in 2013. Prosecutors had argued that she died after being forced to undergo FGM by her father who also faced trial and was given a suspended sentence on Monday. In an initial trial both Fadel and the father had been cleared. First step. The practice of FGM was banned in Egypt in 2008 but is still widespread. The country is one of the highest rates of prevalence in the world. More than 90% of Egyptian women ages under 50 have undergone the procedure, according to government statistics. Typically it is carried out on girls ages between 9 and 13 but there are victims as young as 6, anti-FGM campaigner say. The case against Fadel was the first time the prosecution relating to FGM had been brought to trial. Suha Nabiu Dadiyir, a spokeswoman for Equality Now, called Monday's sentencing the monumental victory for women and girls in Egypt. The country has shown that it will implement its laws and we hope that this is the first step towards ending this extreme form of violence against women once and for all, she said. The number of Egyptian girls who died following FGM is unclear, as deaths are commonly recorded as hemorrhages or allergic reactions to penicillin. Fadel claimed that Suhair al-Bata's death had been caused by a penicillin allergy.